In this lecture, we study the types of demand and classify demand into three types: price demand, income demand, cross demand, derived or indirect demand, direct demand, joint demand, and the composite demand. We know that the demand for commodity X is dependent on the price of commodity X, price of related goods, income of the consumer, and the taste and the preferences of the consumer. When we talk of taste and the preferences of the consumer, it cannot be measured quantitatively. So, if we exclude this and we talk of the other determinants of demand, that is, price of commodity X, price of related goods, and the income of the consumer, we'll have three types of demand. which would be related to these determinants that is price demand cross demand which would be related to the price of related good and the income demand price demand tells you the relationship between the price of a commodity and the demand of the commodity say we are talking about commodity x then it tells you the relationship between the price of the commodity x and the income of the and the demand of the commodity x other things are kept constant when we talk about this relationship what are the other things that we talk here that is the income of the consumer the taste and the preferences of the consumer and the price the related goods similarly when we talk of the income demand it refers to the quantity demanded of a commodity in relation to the income of the consumer that is other things being being equal it shows the relationship between consumers income and the demand for the commodity let's move on to cross demand when the other things are kept constant and we talk of the relationship between the price of a commodity and the demand for its related good it is called the cross demand when the demand for another relative good related good changes with a change in the price of the commodity the case is of cross demand say i am talking of commodity y okay we are talking of the demand of the commodity y which can be a substitute or a complement to commodity x tells you that the demand for the related good that is y is related to the price of commodity x what are the other things that are kept constant here income of the consumer taste and the preferences of the consumer and price of commodity y y is the price of commodity y kept constant because we are talking about the demand for commodity y let us move on to the other two kinds of demand direct and the derived or the indirect demand the demand classification here that is the classification of demand on the basis of direct and the indirect is based on the dependency on the other good first we will talk of the direct demand the demand for a product is not associated with the demand for other product that is the demand for the commodity is said to be direct when it satisfies your wants directly it does not depend on the demand for the other good it does not depend on the demand for the other good for example when you talk of food right it will satisfy your hunger directly you demand food so it is directly satisfying your wants all right now these uh kinds of demand they satisfy a want directly and they do not depend on the demand for the other good now when we talk of the indirect or the derived demand what are these these depend on the demand for the parent product all right you demand these product not for its own sake but for the sake of the product that you produce or the product that you want example labor when you demand labor you demand it to produce a certain commodity say you say that that commodity is shoe all right so when you demand labor it is the derived demand because you demand labor because you want shoes 
so all the factors of production that is land capital raw materials labor all these are the derived demand why because you demand these goods in order to produce some other goods now let us move on to composite demand when a commodity can be put to several uses it is said to possess a composite demand okay for example demand for steel is a composite demand because steel can be used for manufacturing machines can be used as a tool can be used in cars so this commodity steel can be put to several uses therefore it is said to have a composite demand joint demand is when the demand for one commodity in itself means the demand for the other commodity for example in a finished product like bread there are many things like services of the flour mill oven fuel so you need all these things in order to make bread so the demand for bread means the demand for other commodities therefore it is a demand which is called a joint demand 